Hello my darlings, happy new year. I hope that you're all doing well. I mean, we're at the start of a new year. We're at the precipice of opportunity and excitement for change, which is how I feel. I'm someone who finds it easier to implement change and new habits in my life if they're at the beginning of something new, like a new month or even a new week, anything. It's such a weird mind thing, but it totally works for me. And I think that's why so many people use like the new year as a way to start resolutions. There's something fresh and exciting about the opportunity for good change. So I hope that you're all doing well. Today we are doing winter favorites. Now in the past I have done favorite videos at the end of the season uh, because to me the favorites were about what I used during that season. But I'm willing to concede to the fact that that is just not how it's done. So now I'm trying to do my favorites in the season that they're in. So this is my winter favorites video. First up, I'm going to show you a tea recommendation because I do this in every video. You know, I love David's Tea. I'm a really big fan of this brand. They make really high quality tea and I love it. I don't know if I've recommended this one before, but it's my favorite that I'm drinking right now, so I'm just gonna do it again. Uh, it's Glitter and Gold. It's a black tea by David's Tea. It's got cloves and like some lemon peel, so there's like a citrus element. I don't know, there's just something about it that feels very holidays, and it's got a little bit of caffeine, which is good for me. I need that kick in the morning, so I've been drinking this every day and just, oh my gosh, I love the smell of it. So I use a lot of Lush products all the time and pretty much everything I've tried I've generally liked. And there was always this hype about Snow Fairy. And because there was a hype, I was resistant. I was like, mm, everybody likes that, I probably won't. That's just how my brain operates, I don't know. So recently my friend Tony brought me this little jar of Snow Fairy and it is a body conditioner. If you don't know what a body conditioner is, I it's the best thing ever. Basically, it's like a conditioner for your hair, but at the end of your shower, you rub this on your skin like a moisturizer, and then you rinse it off. And then when you get out of the shower, you don't have to put moisturizer on your body. It's so awesome. It's so much less messy. I love it. So Snow Fairy is a body conditioner, and listen to this. Smooth on softening mango butter and a cotton candy perfume. Mango and cotton candy? Where, where has this been all my life? This is like me in a jar. It smells so, so good and I love the way it feels on my skin. So I'm using it very sparingly because I recently went to go buy more of it and uh, some of you already know what's gonna happen. Uh, they don't make it not during the holidays, which I was like, oh, mm-hmm. I'm mad. I mean, if you can still find Snow Fairy, get it. It's the best. I love it. Um, I really like this other body conditioner that's like a, a Rose Argan body conditioner, but it doesn't smell as good as this one. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there's treasure sitting next to me that you're not supposed to touch. She's like, but I want to. Dawn is my little shadow. She's always, hey, oh, <laughs> no, no. You gonna help me with this one? So this is Jim Baison, and he is my new favorite character. He is a whale shark. He's been around for a little while. At Con Bravo, my friend uh, Cadney, you might know her online, had this guy, and I was so jealous, and she let me touch him, and I was like, I want one. And I went to the booth that had them, and they were sold out. When I found my own little Jim Baison, I was so happy, and now he's like my little lucky charm. Ah, <sighs> Jim Baison, or as Leslie calls him, Jimmy Bison. This next favorite is such a practical favorite that I feel like a lot of you are gonna like it too. This is a power bank. So basically it has the two USB slots at the top. You can charge your phone on the go because you know, it always happens. You've been playing Pokemon Go out and about and your phone dies and you're like, ah, I don't even, like I'm nowhere near a plug. This little guy has saved my life so many times. I find with this, I get about four phone charges, like full phone charges with it. So that's awesome. It's not only just for phones, you can use anything that has a USB um, cord. This one is made by Mimo Power Deck and it's an officially licensed Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal uh, Season 3 Power Deck and it is amazing and it works really well and it's super light. So you can have it in your purse and just be that person who has a, it's like being the person who has tampons in their purse, saving the day 
one little helping move at a time. I feel like 2016 was the year of enamel pins. Do you feel this way too? Like everybody has been putting out enamel pens and I'm loving it because I love enamel pens. They're such a cute little thing to just add that special touch to any outfit or whatever you want. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite pins that I've gathered this year. Links to all of these pins, and I mean everything in this whole video, are in the description so that you can check it out too. I don't usually buy books anymore because I have a local library that's really great, so I just take books out all the time, but when I was in Halifax a couple months ago, I bought myself this book as a treat. It is called Succulent Wild Love, Six Powerful Habits for Feeling More Love More Often. This book, I'm not even done, and I'm recommending it to you because it's already been really positive for me and my personal growth. There's been so many excerpts that I've highlighted, because it's my own book, I can do that. Um, <laughs> which is, I guess, the benefit of buying a book versus getting it from a library, but um, there's been so many things that I've connected to just about things that are behaviors that I exhibit that are rooted in my childhood and other behaviors that I've identified in, in myself and in other people. It talks about dealing with interpersonal conflict between your partner and between friends and anyone else you have a relationship with. Um, it's really been so positive for me. It's all like there's colors and lots of pictures and it's not just written by one person, it's written by um, a couple but then they also have tons of like bits by other people so you're getting so many different voices but it's very visually like pleasing to read this book. If you're interested in like personal growth, all that kind of cheesy stuff, I really recommend this book. It's been really good for me. This one I think is a really good book going forward 2017 if you want to improve your own ability to receive love from others and to give people love in the way that they need. And I'm, you don't even need to buy it, you know? Just check it out from the library and see if you like it. Um, it's been really positive for me, so I wanted to recommend it. Well, that's pretty much everything that I've been loving, loving this winter. I'm sure I'm leaving something out that's what always happens after I finish a video, but I hope that you enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for my spring favorites, which I'll actually post during the spring like I'm supposed to. I've learned, I've learned. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. <laughs>